Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of June 15th through the 22nd, 2020. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my Tarot Apocalypticist by Eric Dune and Kim Huggins. I want to thank everybody for likes sharing and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me all right guys let's get this show on the road all right what's going on with the aries 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 what's going on what's going on Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry. Right. So, already, it looked like there may be some third-party situations going on here, okay? Um, I, this could be um, somebody was flirting with somebody. Now, they're not. Um, I do feel like if they're, uh, they may be a third-party relationship um, that your partner is doing, okay? But, of course, it's just one or the other one. Um, okay. Let's, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we got the dreams card here. So I do feel like somebody's having dreams about what is going on, what is happening, okay? Mm. Okay, so I do feel like somebody's very, very, very angry about these dreams, okay? Yeah, these dreams are definitely messages here. Um, and I do feel like somebody is just surrounded by um, negative energy right now, okay? Surrounded. Okay, dang. Negative energy. I do feel like somebody is extremely as emotional as well, okay? Mm. I do feel like the negative energy is coming from somebody that's emotional, that's making you emotional. It's just like y'all feeding off the, the, the negative emotions, okay? Back and forth and back and forth, okay? Definitely starting to feel a little bit toxic here. All right. Mm-hmm. So, we got the unseen card reversed here. So, I do feel like somebody may be mad about a situation that went on with somebody's ex, okay? So, somebody's definitely dealing with their ex in some way, even if it's just talking to them, okay? Somebody is not happy about this, okay? But with that third-party card coming up at the beginning, and it's showing me the third-party card now again, I do feel like somebody was flirting or actually cheating with this ex, and I do feel like... Somebody is not over this. I'm not over it, okay? And it's crazy because this relationship with the ex, the third party situation, was not over until recently, okay? Mm. It's crazy. Oh, I just saw somebody knocking on somebody's door, okay? And I do feel like at that point, maybe it was over. Somebody walked out the porch, knocked on the door, and like, okay, yeah. So, I'm seeing her too, or I'm seeing him too, Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm. So, definitely, somebody's in a relationship where they're hopping from this person to that person to this person to that person. Back and forth. Just jumping through all the exes, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Okay, so I do feel like there is some fighting going on, okay? Maybe it's time to quit. Okay, quit and move on because this fighting is not cool. All right? It's not everybody doing that, but I just felt like somebody hit me in the right side of my head and my eye is feeling weird right now, okay? Barely can see, okay? All right, yep. So I do feel like somebody getting ready to move out. Okay, so what it looked like is somebody may be attached to this ex. For some of you guys, as an ex that was abusive, mentally or physically okay and it seems like somebody just can't stay away from that person okay um wow okay so i'm starting to see like one person is just talking to exes and the other person is actually um sleeping with them okay i'm sorry but that's what it looked like is going on here if it ain't you it ain't you okay but if this is somebody so have some respect okay all right, so we got the a wisdom card reversed here, of course. Um, somebody is regretting a situation they made. They know it was an unwise decision to deal with these people, 
And now somebody is just in like a whole lot of drama, okay? Whole lot of drama because of this, okay? Somebody just need to leave the past in the past, okay? We leave our exes for a reason, okay? They're no good. No good. I mean, they might be good for somebody else, but not good for us. Everybody is not for everybody, you know? Because, I mean, I, I knew a couple of people bought some fire out of me, okay? And I'm a very peaceful person. So it's just like, you know, even if this person was nice, you was nice, but y'all get together, y'all the meanest people in the world. Some people are just not for each other, okay? But then it's crazy because some somebody in this situation is feeding off that that drama, that that negativity, that fire, okay? And it's just like keeping them going back, keeping them there, okay? Somebody loves the drama. Whew. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Aries. 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 All right. So we got the judgment card here. So I do feel like somebody's getting ready to make a, a deal. What? A, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Uh, somebody's getting ready to make a decision about the situation and try to figure out what they're going to do about it. Okay. Mm. Okay. So we got the four swords. Okay. So I do feel like somebody's trying to recover something, whether it be a relationship or, um, yeah, I, it gotta be a relationship. I don't see anything else. All right. Let's see what's going on. Yep, somebody still digging in the past, okay? Somebody digging through all the exes and just haven't found the right one. And it's crazy. Because it's like, I do feel like they're getting worse and worse. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, we got the Five of Cups here. So, of course, this isn't for everybody and it's going to narrow the playing fields. Um, so, I do feel like somebody lost an ex, Okay. I do feel like somebody lost the ex or lost someone, okay? And I do feel like somebody is keep going back to these exes. Ah, it's crazy because a little bit makes me feel like somebody feels like they can save them. Okay, somebody feel like they can save the world right now. But I do feel like it's just causing a lot of stress, causing a lot of sadness, and causing a lot of drama. And I do just feel like somebody's just trying to... Wow, somebody trying to save save the world, okay? Save all the exes. All right, so we got the Ten of Cups here. Wow. Okay, so I do feel like somebody may have lost somebody, a person that they were dating, person that they were in a relationship, um, or somebody could, lost the chance to have a family with someone, okay? Um, somebody could have like maybe been me or just separated. Next thing you know, this person is married with kids and you know, everything that you wanted. Okay. So I do feel like somebody is digging through the trash, trying to figure out, you know, which other one of these sheets of paper going to give me that life that I lost with that person. Okay. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got the lover's card here. Like I said, I couldn't see nothing but a relationship, nothing but exes. So I do feel like somebody is trying to recover um, a relationship. Somebody is going through the past and, and dealing with people that they've dealt with and trying to see if they can make a family with those. Okay. But what's crazy is like somebody setting fires the whole way. Like this person, that person, this person, this person, that person. And like, it's making people angry, like all around. Next thing you know, it's going to be fire all around you. Okay. All these people mad as you know, stuff going crazy with the car. You ain't going to know where it come from. Cause you made so many people so mad. Okay. I mean, this could be happening to you. Somebody came to you and you know, you then forgot all about that situation. You wanted to start a relationship. Oh, okay. And then next thing you know, you look outside your car getting keyed. Okay. Cause this person's setting fires around town. Okay. All right. So we got the Prince of Cups reversed here. So I do feel like, oh goodness. 
somebody is going around getting into relationships okay you're not the one and leaving okay and it's crazy because nobody is the one because the one is the one that's married and already has children and already have a house and the big family and the you know the fake facebook happy pictures okay mm. All right, pictures is not everything that is really happening. Somebody going off pictures that they seeing from the outside. Um, those pictures ain't always real, okay? All right, so we got the queen of almost never real. So we got the queen of pentacles up right here. So I do feel like, yeah, somebody is in search of that money, that 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 house that love and it's like somebody wants this person that's already married but i do feel like or married or engaged or in a relationship but i do feel like somebody is going through all these exes to i mean trying to find somebody like that person but i do feel like it's gonna spark up some fire from some of these people that was not liking each other too much in the past in the first place and it's gonna start a whole lot of stuff for the rest of this summer okay Nope. So, I know everybody can read that. So, this is a death card. Uh, Like I said, somebody is starting a lot of stuff. And, it, of course, some transition is getting ready to come on. And, hopefully, um, somebody don't get hurt. But, I can say, if this is you and you're doing this, you might want to stop while you're ahead. Okay? Because there are definitely going to be regrets to this. And, you know, you dealing with all these people, crazy people, bringing all this crazy energy to you. Ain't nothing but negative coming, okay? All right? I can't say I ain't did nothing crazy in my lifetime, but I can tell, I can see where this is going, all right? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for working. Working? Watching. <laughs>